Um, so you, you, you're telling me that, um, that you're not the only one and there are actually more people lined up now that they're ready to, to evict in this manner? Well, finally, um, William, William texted me um, a couple of days ago. Unfortunately, his case at Edmonton County Court has now progressed and he fears he's going to be the next violent eviction because um, I was helping him. Uh, he held them off so far and this is another feature. They take you up and drop you down. They play with you like cat and mouse. Mm. And it's only going one way. And so he's now facing the violent eviction because his housing managers snatched his tenancy. Yeah. Um, they collapsed his housing benefit. The excuse was you've got your son and daughter in law living with you. He wasn't taking any money off them. Yeah. But they accused him he was. Yeah. And they collapsed the housing benefit. He only owed three hundred pounds. Yeah. He was paying it. But no, straight into Edmonton Court, possession order, the same thing. They want his three bedroom house. Yeah, and they, and they are targeting people, you know, yes. deliberately. Yes. They, these people know they're being targeted for months and months and months. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how there's, many other examples? There's um, Anthony. Of? Anthony is a man we met in Hammersmith High Street. Anthony had paid £10,000 to lawyers, he had got no joy at all, which is frequently the case because when you've got cases this way, mm. your own solicitor will be operating with them, mm. despite the fact that you're paying them. So Anthony had a team of 12 police, and he states specifically it was policemen, mm. used their truncheons and beat him about the head. Yeah. He has now got some brain damage. Really? Yeah. Uh, and that was a policeman? Twelve. Twelve policemen yeah. in assistance of bailiffs. Yes. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. And on top of that, you've got your own experiences at mm. Christmas mm. and Raymond's. Mm. Um, so you're in no doubt that these are violent forced evictions. Mm. They will, and, and mm. they are actually going up way above above anything that could be classed as reasonable and justified. These are these are more than just you know, serious assaults. They are brutal thugs. Yeah. They and, are thugs. And, and I have heard they're hired from the day. Yeah. These thugs go in, yeah. look up at the court listings and yeah. apply for work by the day. Yeah. And I've had that, that told to me by two people. One was at a party where they were boasting of it and another was um, um, a friend of a friend. Now, that needs investigating because I don't think they were telling untruths. Yeah. They yeah. were telling it as it is because they to do this. Yeah, because these aren't certificated people. Yeah. They and, they are And all of this, you say, is based on fraudulent documents mm. in the mm. first place. So it all is... bears the same pattern, yeah. the same modus operandi. It all bears the same. Yeah. Once you've seen one, you'll see the same. Yeah. And, and they all come out of the Queen's Bench Enforcement Division. Yeah, you can trace I mean there's yeah. a trail. You so can there's, trace there's it. Design. They're not court documents. No. no. And everything's based on those and the computer records. No, there's no way it's legitimate okay. at all. Alright. Um, so. And we've got another lady. She's got a probate case and a possession case. And this is also, quite a few people have this. Um, she's got um, her late partners, relatives after the house and she, they are acting with the Bank of Building Society concerned mm. and they're all after her. Mm. No one's contributed anything to her home. No, She's been there 20 working. years paying but they all appear. Yeah, and, and you're adamant there's a criminal cartel almost underneath the, fa underneath the, the, the groundwork of it, the yes. infrastructure. Where, yes. Um, uh, the police are um, working privately mm. on the quiet yeah. through their custody rooms and their offices yeah. um, to carry out private lawful, or private unlawful mm. enforcement mm. for these mm. banks and the bailiffs. Yes, and the and the independent quotes in two thousand and eight Operation Tiberius. And approximately 2003 was Operation Slotty, yeah. and also the Independent found there to be a lot of Masonic yeah. influences, and that is the Independent newspaper. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much. Yes.